So every time Nintendo does a financial briefing, a quarterly update, a meeting with their investors, they generally update the schedule of primary Nintendo products by region. Essentially what this is, is the release slate of video games coming to their two major platforms uh, for the next six months to a year or so. Uh, the list is updated with only currently announced games, and these are obviously games that Nintendo is publishing and or partnered with in some way. Now, it is important to mention this because this is different than the graphs that Nintendo throws out on social media. Like when they throw up a timeline showing, look at all these games coming out. That's very different from this because this is what they tell investors. Look, this is the games we have coming that we are going to make money from that will hopefully turn into profits into their pockets, which happens when they get dividend payments on their stock. Now... Normally, these are pretty standard. Uh, there usually isn't any new announcements found in these. Uh, they give either exact release dates for games that have release dates, like as an example, Snipper Clips Plus Cut It Together coming out on November 10th. Uh, they list Super Mario Odyssey on here, even though it already released at the time, you know, coming out on the 27th. But sometimes you get an update, and the update can go mostly unnoticed because it you know, it depends on what you mean by it. And Nintendo did something with this update schedule that I have never seen them do do before. So we all know that Pokemon and Metroid have been announced for Switch. Uh, literally just announced to be made. That's it. Uh, no release dates, no nothing. And Metroid Prime 4, in all major territories, uh, which apparently is a temporary name, uh, is still TBA, which means you know to be announced, to be determined when they're going to release that game. And that's typical. That's to be expected. And that's what I expected to have to say for the Pokemon, as we're well, listening to a Pokemon RPG for Nintendo Switch. Well, no. They're actually listing Pokemon for Switch for 2018 or later. So, they're not committing to it coming in 2018, but they're saying there's a chance. What was that that uh, Jim Carrey said? You're saying there's a chance. So, unlike that situation in Dumb and Dumber, when it was like one in a million, <laughs> this is not a one in a million chance. This is almost a 50-50 shot. Here Nintendo is putting up that 2018 date. They would not be saying that if there wasn't an internal goal to have Pokemon for Switch done and ready to go in 2018. Now, if that's the case, that would obviously be their major holiday title at the end of the year. Not only because that's the best time to sell a bunch of Pokemon games, but because that gives them the entirety of 2018 practically to continue to develop the game. Now, this could mean multiple things. You could say maybe they're rushing the game. Maybe it's not going to be as impressive. But we also don't know when the game was started on. Potentially, they could have started on this game before even Sun and Moon came out. Uh, or they could have been working on it since Sun and Moon came out, which would be two years of development. You figure they would need more than that for their very first game ever on Switch. But maybe they don't. Maybe the development of what they want to do on Switch is just really, really easy because the hardware massively overshoots their current ambitions for their first attempt at a Nintendo Switch full version Pokemon RPG. But again, it's just, you know, it, it might as well say TBA, but the fact that it says 2018 or later, which again, I've never seen this. I have looked at these reports over the past 20 years, especially when I was covering Zelda. I would always look for updates if there was an update to Zelda's release date they haven't announced yet. You know, Breath of the Wild says 2016. When's it gonna, is it going to switch on here before they announce it and say it's coming at a different day or a different year? And uh, that... It's just very interesting to see it announced kind of in this way. But again, they're, it's very non-committal. 2018 or later is very non-committal. They're not saying it's going to come in 2018, but they're saying it might come in 2018. Whereas Metroid Prime 4 being TBA, uh, well, Pokemon RPG says 2018 or later, tells me that Metroid Prime 4 is for sure not landing in 2018. We might see it in 2018. We could see a teaser trailer for it at E3 or the Game Awards or something, but even a Nintendo Direct, of course, but I have a feeling that that's like one of those for sure is a 2019 game. Um, it could be a spring 2019 game. I don't know, but 
this is just exciting because uh, we've talked a lot at this channel about the lineup for next year and how it obviously does not seem as prominent as the lineup from this year, especially just from Nintendo's end. Let's forget third parties because we honestly don't know what third party games are going to be there beyond the beginning of the year. Uh, we don't know, you know, Nintendo's lineup, you know, I'm just looking at it right now for next year. Uh, they have Kirby Star Allies, which is that Kirby game coming out in spring. Uh, and then they have Fire Emblem for Nintendo Switch coming out at some point in 2018. Yoshi for Nintendo Switch coming out at some point in, in 2018. And then Project Octopath Traveler, I'll count that because it's an exclusive game, even though it's third party. Uh, that's coming out sometime in 2018. And Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, I guess is coming out in spring as well. Uh, that's about it. That's all we know for sure for 2018. There is nothing else announced except for Pokemon and Metroid. So Pokemon could definitely be even a bigger deal than Mario Odyssey if it lands next holiday. And I don't know when Fire Emblem is going to land. That that could be a, a big deal for Switch. Uh, that to me could be their summer game like that the, their splatoon 2 of the summer right i think fire emblems on that splatoon 2 level now that it's jumped up in popularity since the release of fire emblem awakening fire emblem phase fire emblem warriors i think if they can get fire emblem for switch out shortly after e3 or even before e3 that would do wonders for them um but you know they also don't have that massive spring title right like is kirby and Dragon Quest Builder is going to be enough in spring to be those sales drivers. I uh, don't know. And obviously, we know Wolfenstein 2 is probably coming, hopefully early 2018. You know, they just said 2018. I'm hoping it's spring, um, if not sooner than spring. I wouldn't mind if it hits winter at, like, January 2018. Um, but, yeah, this is just exciting to me that Pokemon could be their capper next year. And I said could be. As I said, Nintendo, 2018 or later. I got the screenshot up. Uh, it's... It's going to be an interesting, fun ride, uh, and I can't wait to see uh, where it takes us in the future. Uh, interestingly enough, for those that are curious, uh, the 3DS lineup for next year has two games uh, listed from Nintendo, uh, and that's Kirby Battle Royale coming out in January, and then Sushi Striker The Way of Shishido. I remember seeing that game at E3. Uh, that game also comes out in 2018. Uh, there's a couple other games if you look at in Japan. They have the Dead Heat Breakers. Um, Mario Party Top 100 releases in Europe in January, uh, whereas it releases this year in the United States on November 10th, the same day as Snipperclips. So, yep, it's just a very interesting thing to see uh, how Nintendo's going to handle it. I, I'm just, Pokemon, I want it. I just want it. it. It'll be my first time playing a Pokemon game in almost, you know, 15, 16 years. Uh, like, I don't want to say my first... Okay, I take that back. Not my first time playing a Pokemon game in that long, but my first time investing in a Pokemon game. Like when someone said the other day, uh, we're talking about badges and uh, how they removed them and this and that. I wasn't even aware that badges got removed. That's how far gone I am from the Pokemon series. Uh, really, since the gold and silver days. Uh, it just baffles my mind to even think, wait, there's no badges in some of the, in like the most recent games or something? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so a lot of my, the reason I fell out of the series um, because of bad experiences, or at least experiences that didn't feel exciting to me after Gold and Silver, um, for all the criticisms I might have for the Pokemon series since then, I haven't fully invested enough in a single Pokemon game to actually even call my criticisms legit. I can only talk about why I stopped playing Pokemon rather than why I haven't been able to get back into it, uh, because it, it's it, it's just baffling to me, all these different decisions and all these different mechanics going on that are hard for me to understand on the outside looking in at this point. Uh, but whatever, I'm fully investing in Pokemon on Switch. For all I know, I'm going to love it. I'm going to be so invested in the game that Nintendo Prime is going to basically become Pokemon Prime. I don't know. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Rofa Jets from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about this news down in the comments below. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content just like this. And I'll catch you in the next one.